Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you 12 of the best vanilla fragrances in my collection. Guys, vanilla is so sweet, sultry, seductive, yummy, and cozy. And around this time of the year is the perfect time to pull those vanilla fragrances out. So if you wanna know about the 12 that I'm loving in my collection, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, I've been waiting to do this video because this is the time of year that I love pulling out those super sexy, sweet, floral, spicy, seductive vanilla fragrances. Guys, vanilla is an aphrodisiac. Vanilla's comforting, vanilla's sweet, vanilla's sexy, vanilla is everything in a fragrance. There's some fragrances that have the note of vanilla that you really can't detect the vanilla too much, but it's in there, you know, mixed up and blended up with everything. But in these 12 fragrances right here, these fragrances are vanilla dominant. You smell the vanilla. The vanilla is the star of the show, okay? So let's start with the first fragrance on the list, and that is none other than Santal Complet by Fragrance Dubois. Guys, super sexy, sultry, vanilla gourmand fragrance. That's all I have to say. Drops the mic. Oh. Guys, just give me a minute. It's like these, these, these things are drugs. Like seriously, they are drugs. Guys, this is so good. Let me try the notes. It opens up with coconut. Then there's lemon, there's violet, there's black pepper, sandalwood, vanilla, amber, and musk. Guys, this is powdery. It's a little spicy. It's so super decadent, but not too gourmand, but just gourmand enough. Guys, this is a very cozy, beautiful, rich, expensive smelling vanilla fragrance, okay? You wanna smell wealthy, you wanna smell rich, you wanna smell expensive, you wanna smell all types of luxurious, that's this fragrance right here, guys. This is not a cheap vanilla at all. It's so well blended. You can smell the quality and the richness in this fragrance, guys. It's not too powdery. It's not too spicy, but just enough that gives this fragrance that extra uniqueness that I'm absolutely bonkers over. <laughs> Guys, if you're interested in this fragrance, you can purchase this from soavantgarde.com and save 20%. I've always heard people talk about this fragrance, guys, but now I understand. Guys, it's so beautiful. It's a sexy fragrance. It's a date night fragrance. First of all, the majority of the fragrances on this list is sexy, okay? Because I know y'all want to know. They're sexy and they're groundbreaking, okay? So you ain't got to ask me no more because the majority of them are. And the ones that aren't, I will let you know, but just know that this is sexy. This is date night approved, date night worthy, special occasion, black tie affair, holiday. This is everything. I absolutely love this. Santal Complete by Fragrance Dubois. So the next fragrance on the list is Imperium by Electimus. And guys, when I did my review on this fragrance the other day, I realized that I did not show you the packaging. So I'm going to take this opportunity to actually show you the packaging that if you decide to order this fragrance that you will get. So this is the box right here. This is actually the one to Mercurial Cashmere. This one Bay has. Guys, let me tell you, that fragrance right there, the Cashmere fragrance, he can't wear that without me, okay? You know your man has some of those fragrances that he can't wear on his own? This is one of them. There's no cushion on the inside, but the fragrance lays right here like this. It fits really snug. Put a little elbow grease and get it out. And then on the back of the box, it has all the, you know, all the information. It's a pure parfum. They're all pure parfums. The ingredients, the notes, you know, all of the things. So this is the packaging that you will get your Imperium Electimus fragrance in. So now let's get back to the fragrance. If you saw my review, you already know that I'm head over heels with this fragrance. To me, it's a really smooth, exotic, slightly spicy. There's a bunch of floral notes that I do not detect. There's rose, there's tuberose, there's jasmine. I don't detect them. But in this one, I actually smell the bergamot. I don't know what pineapple note I'm getting in this fragrance, but it's giving me Lamar by Kajal with um, Ani. 
by Nishane, like layered with Ani. Like that's what I'm getting with this fragrance, but a smooth, soft, more feminine version of that. Although this is a unisex fragrance, I can see a man wearing this, but to me it's like, I mean, it's not super feminine, but it's more feminine than Ani. And I don't mind Ani. Like I like that sexy, dominant nature of Ani. But I've heard from a lot of my subscribers that Ani leans a little bit more masculine on them. I cannot see this one leaning masculine on you because that sharpness in Ani from that spicy ginger, you're not gonna get in this fragrance right here. Guys, this is beautiful. It's everything, super sexy. You can wear this at home, you can wear this to church, you can wear this to brunch, you can wear this to a black tie event, you can get married in this fragrance. This fragrance is everything, guys. I absolutely love it. And if you're interested, you can also purchase this from SoAvantGarde.com using my 20% discount code, THEGREAT20, and save 20% off of this beautiful fragrance that everybody needs in their life if you love a vanilla fragrance. Next up on the list is my Deluxe. Now guys, this video is not a So Avant Garde fragrance group video, but you can purchase this off of SoAvantGarde.com as well using my 20% discount code THEGREAT20 and save 20% off of this beautiful fragrance. Now this is a sweet honey vanilla rose fragrance. It also has coffee in it, but guys, the coffee is not really strong. It's so, I mean, like seriously, like I need to not smell these bottles while I'm doing this video because these fragrances just send me to another place. But this fragrance, I've said it a gazillion times. Let me say it a gazillion and one. It's reminiscent of Intense Cafe by Montal, but smoother, softer, sexier, less sharp, and less of that coffee note. This is vanilla wrapped with roses. So sweet from that beautiful, smooth, decadent, delicious honey. Guys, it's mouthwatering. I absolutely love this fragrance. For life fragrance, the performance on this fragrance is excellent. You're gonna get so many compliments when you wear this fragrance. It's super sexy. Date night out, date night in, snuggled up on the couch, somewhere at a beautiful restaurant, sitting under beautiful chandeliers. That's this fragrance right here, guys. It's so amazing. And I absolutely love this. Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. Next up, we have Lali Bella by Memo. Guys, this fragrance is daring. It's intriguing, it's rich, it's sophisticated, it's classy. It's a beautiful, creamy, coconut, vanilla, powdery, slightly powdery fragrance, and I am obsessed. The performance on this fragrance is amazing. There's no issues in performance with these fragrances. This smells super exotic. You're not gonna smell like anybody. It is very classy and very mature smelling, but not stuffy, not old or anything like that. Any age group can wear this rocket and just be super sexy. It's how you carry yourself when you wear certain fragrances. You know what I mean? So when you wear a fragrance like this and it's super classy, you can wear a suit, but you can also dress it down with jeans. You can wear a sexy corset top, like whatever you feel like wearing, just to offset it a little bit. You know what I mean? So it opens up with coconut and the coconut gives it that creamy vibe, guys. Then there's orchid, there's rose, there's peony, there's vanilla. There's patchouli, jasmine, there's incense, tobacco leaf, precious woods, another gorgeous, different smelling, unique smelling vanilla fragrance. Guys, I'm so proud of the vanilla fragrances that I have in my collection right now because I'm always on the hunt for that vanilla. Like every year, every season, like I'm just looking, like a few times during the season, I'm looking for that special vanilla. And this is definitely one of them, guys. Lalibella by Memo. Next up, we have Meliora by Parfum Zamarli. Guys, this fragrance, most people would probably wear this in the spring and the summer. I also wear it in the spring and the summer, but for me, this fragrance can be worn in the fall. Now, in the dead of winter, when it's super cold and snowing, absolutely not. I would not pull for this fragrance. But in the fall, when that crisp breeze hits this fragrance, guys, it's like no other. Like, I've been wearing it, like I wore it a few times since it started to get cold, and I've been loving it. So it opens up with black currant, there's red berries, there's cassis, there's rose, there's ylang ylang, there's lily of the valley, musk, and then vanilla in the base. It's so pretty, it's so feminine, it's a beautiful fragrance, guys. It's more of a sweet, fruity, green smelling vanilla, but not too green because you guys know I don't like, you know, green fragrances. But this is just so beautiful because it's so sweet and fruity, and the vanilla is also very sweet, but that greenness just balances it out and grounds the fragrance and makes it smell very exotic, very unique to my nose. It's a very different scent. 
and I absolutely love it. It also has like a tropical kind of feel to it with that ylang ylang. It's so super creamy and beautiful, guys. If you're interested, you can also purchase this off of soavantgarde.com and save 20% using my discount code THEGREAT20 off of this fragrance, guys. Meliora by Parfums de Marly. Next up, we have Spiritueuse Double Vinny by Guerlain. And guys, with this one right here, like, I have no words. I just have no words. Like, it's so sweet. It's spicy. It's balsamic. It's boozy. It's so sexy. Guys, you do not understand how sexy this fragrance is. If you've never tried this, please get your nose on it. And don't smell a dupe. Don't smell an inspiration. Just smell the actual Spiritueuse Double Vinny by Guerlain. And tell me what you think about it. I just need to know that I'm not going crazy. Guys, this smells like vanilla extract with rum mixed all together just to create a beautiful, classic, classy, timeless scent. Guys, this is everything. So this opens up with pink pepper, then there's bergamot, there's frankincense, there's Bulgarian rose, there's jasmine, there is a uh, ylang ylang, there's vanilla, benzoin, and rum. Guys. <laughs> now Guerlain has changed the packaging to um, a new packaging that you can order and customize, but honestly guys, and I'll leave a photo up if I remember. <laughs> For me, I love this bottle. Like, I just feel like it wasn't broken, so why did they try to fix it? You know, like, it's just a beautiful bottle. It's so sleek, you know, it's just so classic and timeless looking. I'm not a fan of the new bottle. Like, I just don't like it. But once this is out, I will repurchase, and I guess I'll have to get the new bottle, and I'll probably start liking it after a while. It will grow on me. But this is just, like, my type of bottle. It's so sleek. It doesn't take up a bunch of room. It just looks like money it looks expensive i love the little simple detail on the side i just love it the scent is everything though guys everything sweet vanilla extract with rum boozy and spicy i mean what more can i say about this masterpiece vanilla fragrance spiritueuse double vanille by Guerlain. Next up on the list by Kayali, we have Vanilla 28. Guys, I purposely chose this fragrance next because I've said it before and I just wanted to, you know, refresh my memory about this fragrance. This fragrance and Spirit to Be Double Vanille, like, I feel like this was the inspiration behind this fragrance. It definitely gives me the vibe, but they executed it beautifully because I absolutely love this fragrance. It's so super sexy, it's so super sweet. I know a lot of my subscribers that say they use this fragrance to layer other like more masculine or less sweet fragrances with, and Kayali suggests that as well. You know, like I guess all their fragrances can be, you know, layered to create like your bomb exotic fragrance. But this is a beautiful vanilla that I feel like everyone that loves vanilla should have in their collection. It's an easy reach. It's one that you can wear every day. It is sexy. You can wear this on a date night in the house, date night out. It has brown sugar. It's so sweet and beautiful, guys. Let me tie the notes. It opens up with vanilla orchid. There's jasmine, there's brown sugar, there's tonka bean, there's amber, amber wood, there's musk and patchouli. Guys, but like there's no dirtiness there's no earthiness to me in this fragrance the patchouli just grounds it and helps it to last a little bit longer on your skin it's not super duper long lasting you know like it's not lasting you for hours and hours and hours but it has a decent performance whenever i've worn it i never worn it on a super long day if you're gonna wear it for four to five hours possibly six you can push it spray it on your clothes definitely carry a decant it's a beautiful scent anyone who loves vanilla will absolutely go wild over this fragrance guys it's so beautiful kayali vanilla 28 next up we have valentino donna born in roma guys i was on the fence about this fragrance when this fragrance came out what was it like a year or two ago i was on the fence i had a sample and i let Bay smell it because i was going back and forth like hmm, do i want it and i let him smell it and he was just like oh wow this is really good i like this like you need this so i went and got it because he was loving it guys and i love this fragrance this has bourbon vanilla in there guys it's so oh oh my goodness guys these fragrances right here Listen, I'm going to spray this one because you can't really smell this one in the nozzle. Mmm. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful, guys. It's a designer affordable fragrance, so you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to have a beautiful vanilla experience. You could spend less than $200 and have a beautiful vanilla experience. This fragrance, the performance is amazing on this. It doesn't smell generic. It doesn't smell, to me, it doesn't smell like a 
typical, you know, regular, degular vanilla fragrance that you're gonna get from the department store. It smells more elevated than that, and I absolutely love it. So it opens up with black currant, there's bergamot, there's jasmine, there's jasmine sandback, there's jasmine tea, there's bourbon vanilla, and there's wood essence. It smells boozy, it's woody. It's so pretty, I absolutely love it. I will always have this fragrance in my collection. Um, it looks like I haven't really worn it, but trust me guys, like I wear it. I just have a whole lot of fragrances. So it's hard for me to get through it, but you know what it is? I got this one in a gift set. So it came with a little lotion and a spray, like a travel spray. I mainly use a travel spray because I spray this one in the house, like you know, before I leave the house and then I have my travel spray. Like my travel sprays get ran through. Like the dents in the travel sprays are no joke. <laughs> so definitely get this one, guys guys or get your nose on this one if you haven't valentino donna born in roma next up by juliet has a gun vanilla vibes guys this is your salty powdery musky vanilla fragrance it almost smells like it has coconut in it but it doesn't but it just reminds you of the beach or vacation it's so pretty very salty very beachy very sea breeze vibe obviously this is not like a fall winter type of fragrance if you're going on vacation or if you live in a tropical country or if it's summer where you're at right now this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance so you can experience the note of vanilla all year round so this opens up with salt there's vanilla absolute there's orchid there's tonka there's sandalwood musk and benzoin it's such a pretty salty beachy like sea breeze beach type of air like it literally smells like the sea but in a good way like <laughs> not like the fishiness of the sea or anything like that it just smells very clean it doesn't have the best performance like seriously it's not lasting really long on your skin it's actually like more like a skin scent like it's not gonna project and nobody's following you it's not leaving a scent trail but you will smell you you know just spray really heavy spray on your clothes and in the summertime you can get away with really dousing yourself with this fragrance it smells like vacation to me on a really beautiful exclusive resort island like somewhere in the maldives it just smells so clean and fresh and beautiful this is bora bora this is tahiti this is fiji this is the maldives very exclusive very expensive very luxurious vacation guys not your regular run in the mill I'm just running out the country real quick. This is a, you might have to take a plane and a seaplane and a helicopter to get to the island. But when you get there, you're wearing Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. Next on the list is Metallique by Tom Ford. Guys, I know it's a skin scent. I know a lot of you will not spend the money on this fragrance because it doesn't project as much. Someone actually said it projects on them. And girl, I'm so happy for you. More power to you. I don't know if you have to spray heavy or like what do you do to make it project on you. But for me, I have to spray, I have to douse myself. Like literally, this is probably like half a bottle in here. You can't see through this bottle. But I have to douse myself and I have to douse my clothes. But it's so well worth it because it dries down to a super sweet, powdery vanilla fragrance. I love it it's so unique it's very different and actually it's not like in the two or three hundred range is it i don't think it's made it two hundred dollars or maybe it's like just above two i don't think it's two hundred dollars because it's not from the private line for tom ford it's from the signature collection so what doesn't project on me may be like super beast mode projecting on you because that's just how fragrances are body chemistry skin types you never know how long the fragrance sat like i mean there's so many factors that go into the performance of a fragrance but the scent is amazing i love this fragrance it smells so different and so unique especially for a designer fragrance but honestly tom ford fragrances are considered designer fragrances but in my opinion there's like a step above your regular you know designer fragrance like they borderline niche especially the price <laughs> the price and also the scents because the scents are very exotic very unique nothing basic in my opinion like tom ford fragrances are definitely different like i just became a tom ford chick because for years i was not filling the house of tom ford i could not get with it i had soleil blanc i had you know like i had like the typical, like I had a Noir Parfum. I also have Black Orchid, which is very different. And I know a lot of you guys do not like that fragrance, but that's like my unique fragrance. Like I feel like everybody needs some really unique fragrances in their collection just to balance the collection out. Everything shouldn't be super feminine and super girly. Everything shouldn't be masculine. Everything shouldn't be unique. You should have a mixture of everything. So I have Black Orchid, that's my different scent. You know what I mean? I love and appreciate the Tom Ford fragrances now. There's some that I will never wear, like don't suggest ombre leather to me, don't suggest oud wood to me, like none of those fragrances work for me. 
They may work for you, but they don't work for me, <laughs> okay? The ones that I have in my collection I love, especially this one right here. I would definitely repurchase Metallique, yes. Although it's a skin scent, but it's a beautiful, exotic vanilla fragrance, guys. It's so beautiful. It's a compliment getting fragrance. You know, when people can smell it on you, it's so comforting. It just smells like the holidays. It literally smells like fall and the holidays in a bottle. It's so crazy. I don't know how Tom Ford is able to capture that. Like Soleil Blanc is summer in a bottle. Like when you pop the top of Soleil Blanc, it smells like summer. It smells like vacation. And this to me smells like fall in a bottle. I love it guys. Definitely a must have vanilla fragrance. Metallique by Tom Ford. So keeping in the theme of Tom Ford, now we have Vini Fatale, this warm, spicy, sweet vanilla fragrance, guys. And it's slightly smoky as well, but not too smoky. It's so beautiful. This is another one that reminds me of the holidays. Like It just smells like the holidays in a bottle. It smells like Thanksgiving, but not too gourmand, not too foodie. Definitely sexy enough. You can rock Vinny Fatale and stand out and be so super sexy and just feel your best. You look your best, you feel your best, you act your best. This is that fragrance, guys. Vinny Fatale by Tom Ford. The last fragrance on the list is none other than Ani by Nishani. Guys, another exotic, different smelling vanilla fragrance that if you wanna smell different, if you wanna smell exotic, if you wanna smell unique, this is the one you need in your collection. Now, it's a little sharp. It's a little spicy in the opening because it has that blast, like literally like a ginger blast <laughs> in your face. Like imagine like chomping on a ginger. That's what this smells like. But then it's just rounded out by that super sweet, beautiful vanilla, guys. This is another one that you can purchase from soavantgarde.com using my discount code THEGREAT20 and save 20% off of this fragrance. The holidays are coming. You know someone that loves vanilla and you wanna add a little heat to their collection, like a lot of heat, some fire, you buy them this fragrance right here, guys. It's unisex. It can suit a man or a woman. Now, you guys know I don't like masculine smelling scents. It, they just don't work for me. I don't wanna smell like that. It's just not my vibe. But for some reason, this is unisex and I hear that it leans masculine on some women, but on me, it just smells beautiful. Like it just smells strong. It smells sharp. It smells kind of androgynous, but not masculine. You know what I mean? Like it definitely smells like a strong, powerful scent. Super long lasting. It projects so far. People smell you. You get so many compliments with this fragrance. I don't know what it is, guys, but whenever I wear this fragrance, I'm getting a compliment. Even when I forget to top myself off, like, I get compliments. So I'm like, wow, like, you can still smell this fragrance? Like, this fragrance lasts forever. It does not go anywhere, guys. Like, seriously, it doesn't go anywhere. It's an extra day perfume, so you're getting the full perfume oil concentration in this fragrance. It's not a bunch of alcohol, but yet it's still projecting off your skin. It's beautiful. It's another masterpiece, beautiful vanilla fragrance, guys. Ani by Nishane. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of the video. So leave me some comments below and let me know what are some of your super sexy vanilla fragrances. Leave me some suggestions. Let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.